There is a Soviet spacecraft flying above your head right now. It was launched more than 50 years ago. And it might fall to Earth very soon. What is Cosmos 482 and why are scientists worried about it? In 1972, the Soviet Union tried to send a spacecraft to Venus. It was called Cosmos 482. But something went wrong. Instead of going to Venus, it got stuck in Earth's orbit. And it has stayed there for over 50 years. Cosmos 482 was part of a space program meant to study Venus. It was designed to survive the planet's extreme heat and pressure. The spacecraft had a titanium shell to protect it from the harsh environment of Venus. That same protection is what has kept it in orbit all these years. On April 3, 1972, Cosmos 482 launched from Kazakhstan, but the upper stage of the rocket failed. Instead of flying toward Venus, it ended up circling Earth. The mission failed, but the spacecraft didn't burn up. It became space junk, with a very strong body. Cosmos 482 is just floating forever. At some point, it will fall back to Earth, and because it's made of thick metal, parts of it won't burn up in the atmosphere. That means big pieces could hit the ground. No one knows when or where it will fall. Experts believe it might fall in the 2030s or 2040s. Some say it could land in the ocean. Others warn it might crash near people. There is no way to control or stop the spacecraft now. It's just a matter of time. Cosmos 482, a reminder of the Cold War space race between the USA and the Soviet Union. The Soviets launched many spacecraft quickly, trying to beat the Americans. Sometimes, they failed like with Cosmos 482, but they didn't always tell the world about it. Many people confuse Cosmos 482 with another spacecraft, Venera 8. Venera 8 was launched just four days later and successfully reached Venus. Cosmos 482 was its twin, but it failed and got left behind. Now, it orbits silently above us. Cosmos 482 is still up there. It's moving at 7.8 kilometers per second over our heads. It could fall tomorrow or in 20 years. And when it does, people will remember the forgotten mission and wonder why we didn't talk about it sooner.